So today we're going to be making uh, this, but a really big version of it, a four by four version on the alt mill. This is the sign that's going to be for our new hardwood store opening up. And so I just want to show you how the heck we're going to do this. Let me get this most beautiful, beautiful piece of plastic. It's barely going to fit. We're barely going to be able to put clamps on it, but it should be good. So I'm using the half inch black, white, black HDPE. I really like using it. There we go. I really like using it because I don't have to do any painting. So we're gonna do this carve right here first. So we're gonna pocket out everything, uh, 0 0.075 inches. And then wherever these little pieces are, we're gonna go down just a little bit more. That way these quarter inch pieces that we're about to cut out will fit in there. So. It's gonna look pretty cool. So that's what we're about to cut out and uh, about to get rolling. So got the file all loaded up. Here's how it's gonna look. And it is going to be maxing out the CNC and we have a runtime right here, 45 minutes, if you can see that. Part one of giant four x four Eagle sign for DW Hardwoods, let's go. Yeah, it looks like we just didn't go down far enough right here at this spot. So I'm gonna program this um, just to pocket out this little section right here so I don't take another 45 minutes to cut this whole thing out. So for all the beaks and the stripes, I'm gonna need one 12 foot by 24 inch piece of yellow, black, yellow, stars, blue, and the stripes, this piece of, ah, that piece of red, white, red. So the next thing I'm gonna cut out is that beak. So I'm gonna be using an eighth inch bit to cut all these out. This is an eighth inch O flute from CICWorkshop.com. All right, let's cut out this beak, see if it works. Let's go see if this stuff fits. So we got the eye, we got the beak. Ah, I messed up on one part. Whenever I was doing the pocketing, I pocketed it out with a quarter inch and I didn't radius this off for a quarter inch bit. So as you can see right here in this little tip, they do not get along. So I'm gonna have to sand down the point right here and this point up there. Next thing we're gonna cut out is the stripes. Now there's not a lot of room to hold down these stripes, so I'm just going to put some double-sided tape. Now I did go ahead and put a fillet on all of these edges, that way they would actually fit unlike the, uh, the beak. When I cut it, all of these will be rounded to that quarter inch radius or quarter inch diameter of the bit that did all the pocketing. So all of these will fit unlike the beak, which was kind of complicated. All right, safety's on. Let's run it, baby.
Now, while that sign's being cut out, let me show you why we are making it. So we are opening up a store out of the back of the shop called DW Hardwoods. We got exotics like the Purple Heart, we got Maple, Black Limba, Yellow Heart, Beach, Pecan, Walnut, really wide boards over there. So there's a ton of product that we're gonna start selling out of DW Hardwoods. We're about an hour southwest of Houston, right outside of El Campo. So if you're in the area, check us out. And we're also gonna offer, you know, if you wanna go through any of this stuff and pick out different pieces of our drops that we cannot use for different products, you can do that, whether it's a bad product, whether it's all these drops, we'll give you a really good deal on it. Check us out and let me know in the comments below what else you think I should do with all of those drops and all those pallets of just random pieces of wood. Thanks guys, now back to cut. Beautiful. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, let's see if all these red pieces fit. Like a really fun puzzle, really expensive fun puzzle. So far, so good. Let's do the blue and uh, get that rolling, baby. All right, so now we're gonna cut out the blue. It's gonna do the stars and then cut everything out. Done. Let's see if it fits. It's gonna work, maybe. All right, so now I gotta figure out how to connect all this stuff. So I'm gonna take it to a nice air conditioned room that's nice and peaceful and quiet. So a lot of you might be wondering at this point, Ryan, how do you put on the plastic pieces? Well, it's for a sign on the highway. So at 75 miles an hour, even though I do not want to do this, I don't think they'll notice a small pan head screw. Do I hate that? Yep. So before we do that eye test, I have a huge announcement to make. If you want to make your very own eagle sign just like this, we are launching our first ever, first ever cutting it close project kit. In this kit, you will get all the materials needed to make this sign, you'll get the glue you need, you'll get the digital file, and you'll get a step-by-step -step video of me walking you through how to make this exact eagle, how to use these pieces, how to use the glue, and how to use the digital file you are provided. We are going to make this a monthly thing. We've put a ton of hours into this, and I think it's only right we do it with this eagle. So I'll leave the link down in the description. And since we will be doing these on a monthly basis, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can know of the next kit launch. I'm super excited for this, guys. Check it out. You'll get everything you need, and you'll start being able to make awesome stuff like this. Now, back to the eye test. Just get all the screws put in. I don't love them, but let me ask you, can you see them from over there? Because that's where they're gonna be. Let that screw up your ass. Are you okay? You gonna you gonna let that thing beat you? You know you have to push on the drill, right? Yay, Brian! The sign is beautiful. DW Hardwoods is officially open. So we are about an hour southwest of Houston. So if you're in Texas, come see us. I'll give you a tour of the shop, show you the CNC's. I love America. 
I love woodworking and I love CNC's and I love you guys. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, guys, remember, if you ain't cutting it close, you ain't cutting it right.